here with Richard Nuttall, head coach of Hofstra men's soccer, coming off a 2 0 win over James Madison University to open up Colonial Athletic Association play tonight. Coach, just some thoughts on tonight's win. Solid, passed the ball well, especially first half. I thought our tempo on the ball was good, and the uh, same old story, you know, five or six glorious chances should have finished and uh, we didn't show composure so it put a little bit of pressure on ourselves uh, and then second half we played well again knocked the ball around got a couple more chances and we shot to finish one a great finish and uh, thought we got a little restless and uneasy the last 10 minutes but uh, you know near the end there Danny's um, kept calm and uh, done what we've asked him to do just relax in front of the goal and finish one and uh, I thought it was a well deserved 2-0 victory I thought we were solid as a rock and uh, you know, I'm pleased defensively, we, as I've just mentioned, we've uh, conceded one goal in the last four games, so we're getting there, and that's against the number three team in the country. And uh, I'm just happy with the way we've moved the ball. I just feel as though we've just got to relax a little bit more in front of goal, and uh, uh, I think the chances will, will start to get finished. Coach, you had um, Arkonelski and Ashton split time, split halves. Can you just talk about the strategy behind that? Yeah, we, you know, uh, both outstanding keepers and I don't want to lose sight of Brian Rubinaccio, the third keeper who's doing very well in practice too. But we, you know, he, he came out from major surgery on both shoulders, Alex, and he did quite well the first two games. And he's been doing well in practice, so we, we wanted to just see how he's doing in the game type situation, so we've got options. But at the moment, you know, Leo's the starting keeper. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll of course, but I like to see whether we're going to work. Start next game, but to be honest, Leo's the incumbent. But it was good to see Alex, and we thought it was an excellent game to put him in to see where he's at. As far as the offense goes, you saw Luke Brown get a lot of time in practice this week while Joe sort of maybe rehabbed a little bit of that hyperextension that we yeah. talked about from Syracuse. How did you like the, the offense play today, especially with Joe after he bounced back from quite a scare at Cuse? Yeah, again, I, I think I'll give it a seven and a half, eight out of ten. We just know just not there. I think the ball was excellent a couple of times we should have nicked a couple of balls through. But Joe, I mean the ball that he put through from the shot by Joe was tremendous. But the fact is Joe's doing a little bit too much in his own arm and you know he's got to learn to get rid of it because he gets so much attention and get in the next pocket. But, but overall, you know, I mean I'm happy with the way we played. I'm happy with the way we moved the ball. And, uh, I thought we were solid defensively. Again, Nealis and, and Harry and Rory and Nino were excellent in the back. And then I thought Andreas was the best player on the field first half. Andreas out of fields. But everybody's worked hard. I mean, uh, this conference is tough. The CAA conference is tremendous. And, and we really want to know it's a good start. Well, you go 1 0 in the CAA. Now you're tied with Northeastern, who's also 1 0. But they're also under 500 at the moment, so you yeah. just got back to 500. Yeah. Where do you think your team has to move forward to really grab a number one spot as a plus 500 team in CAA and out? Well, to be honest, we're not thinking about that. We're just thinking about the next game, which is going to be incredibly hard against a very good uh, college Charleston team over at the stadium over there. So uh, it's just one game at a time. Sorry, it's a bit cliche, but uh, it's got to be done. You know, I just want to focus on the College of Charleston. We're not thinking about any ranking or number one spot or anything like that. It's a home game, but it is at James M. Stewart Stadium. Is there any separate preparation that has to be done to get ready for maybe a, a foreign field, even though it is technically home turf? Well, we'll train on there all week, and uh, hopefully it's not a foreign field by the end of the week. Uh, Coach, you guys put two goals up on the board. Um, despite the fact that you may have been struggling a little bit offensively in the past couple of games, can you just talk about what you saw today and what you want to see going forward offensively? Yeah, I just I think we just need to be a little bit more decisive. And the, uh, the runs, I'd like to see our runs open up a bit and give better angles to the ball. And some of it, you know, I keep saying, I mean, some of it's a little bit of lacking in confidence, some of it's a bit of tension when you're not getting what you what you, should, you feel you should be doing. And some of it is, you know, just the rustiness of the season and playing against good players. So I think we do, if we just work hard in practice, well, we've got, as you can see, we've got a lot of talent. So I think we'll be good, you know, just got to keep working hard. Thanks, Coach. Thank Thanks. you.